Aloha. It has come to my attention from people I know that people do have, women especially, have trouble sometimes with, or it's just awkward, with not, with sex. And so I have some advice, and this is something, first I'm going to talk about something I didn't know when I was younger that I wish that I did. Um, before you get intimate with someone, with whoever, you really have to talk about it. And I didn't used to believe that that was something that was possible, but there's so many misconceptions about sex, and it's never casual. I I think there's, you know, of, the, so of, the, of all the women I know and have known, um, we tend to open our hearts when we have sex. So um, what you need to do is protect yourself. And I don't just mean with the condom or birth control. What I mean is protecting your heart and being more sure of what you're going to do and not being talked into anything that you don't want to do. So I suggest talking about things that you will be better off if you do. I mean, what I was appalled to hear, and I feel is so heinous, is this hookup culture of people just going ahead and doing it, and the woman gets to do all the work, and the man doesn't do any pleasing whatsoever. This is what I'm hearing. Um, that's just so ungratifying, and not respectful of yourself as a woman. So... You know, think about where you want to be and not just where he wants to be or whomever you're having sex with. You have a right to enjoy it. Uh, we live in a modern age and that old idea of it's just for the man has really uh, gotten old. I mean, I never believed that, but, but I think our culture sort of teaches women that, you know, they have to do the pleasing and everything. Well, it's definitely mutual. So, um, you want to be with someone that cares about that. So, talk about it beforehand. And if it's too embarrassing to talk about or you just can't even deal with that, then that means that person isn't the one to get intimate with. If you can't even talk about it. Because we're talking about your body here. And that's a sacred place. And you don't want to just let anybody in there that hasn't been tested, that doesn't take care of themselves, that just, you know, goes, we do not wear, we don't know where that, uh, where his uh, equipment has been, now do we? So um, you have to be uh, forthright about it. So, and then the second thing I wanted to talk about is when women are approached by uh, friends who want to have sex with them, but they don't want to have sex back, the woman, and it can be uncomfortable and awkward, but um, I recommend before doing anything or before pushing, being pushed into it like you were supposed to because your friends... Um, I don't believe in the friends with benefits thing. Ew. Everyone has their own choice, but like I said, sex is never casual. It just isn't. Only bad sex is casual, and that's easy to walk away from. But, going back, and that can happen, but you certainly don't repeat it, because you want to find out that someone cares about you enough that it's going to be something good for both of you. So, so, and then going back to saying no to your friend who wants to have sex with you and you don't, you just have to say, my feelings are different and say that in a very nice tone of voice because if you still want to be friends with them, and I think that's, um, that can be difficult, but you know, treat them like any other friend that you have that you wouldn't want to have sex with. I mean, if you if you put a woman in that place and you're a woman and they're wanting to have sex with you, you would say nicely. And that's happened to me too. I I don't 
I don't, I have different feelings. Without even getting into whether you're gay or not, or bisexual or transsexual or any of the above. So, you just have to honor your own feelings and be strong about that. It just takes practice. And really, um, you get better at it. So, that's what I have to say about sex today. And I'm sure there will be more, and I'll think of other things that... Uh, I can say, hey, comment below and let me know uh, if you have difficulties you're dealing with, and I'd be happy to answer questions that you have in the comments. Please subscribe. Aloha.